15 years. It's a long time. It's a very, very, very long time. 15 years! 15 years! Norwich City! Look, 15 years, 15 years, I say. To that, Chris Reeves. 15 years, 15 years, Norwich City. Playing football the Norwich way. I think mm. uh, I think this Lakens. I mean, it's it's sweet tasting, magnifique in the uh, in the best of times. But on a mm. day like today, Chris, woo! Hang on one second. Hang on. Let me mm. just sip that. You ready? Hang on. Let me sip it. Notes oh. of East Anglian Derby Day dominance. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I taste? I taste drafts being deleted from Ipswich fans. <laughs> Come on, oh, oh. come on. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll, tell no, you one thing for free. I'll tell you one thing for free. <laughs> come on. Ipswich Town, top of the league. <laughs> <laughs> they were pony. They were absolutely pony. And we were superb. Yeah. Superb. Who's your man of the match? Oh, God. Man of the match. Right, come on. Jack Stacey, ole ole. Jack Stacey, Jack Stacey, ole, ole, ole. ole He was very good. Running down the wing, makes a city sing. Super Jack Stacey, ole ole. He was an absolute engine room. God, he was good. I'll tell you who else was good. It, Kenny McLean, yeah. Kenny Esther. Do you, know what, do you know what made me giggle the most out of all the players today? Angus Gunn. Oh yeah, Mate, he's, he may as well have had a deck chair out. Well, I was, I was he almost a save to make. I was almost going was, to offer him a, a sort of a crossword to do at half, uh, yeah. during the game because he just looked bored. You know, he just looked so <laughs> bored. Oh my god! Did Here you expect go. that today? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it even better. Can you believe <laughs> Mate, I was. I'll. Ta- I. I will say happily. <laughs> I would say happily I was very concerned you were nervous pre-match uh, yeah I, I know you were, you were in a I, bad way yeah, you were in a very no, bad I way no I was I was yeah. nervous I thought right this is the best Ipswich team in years yeah well not, not hard decade. but yeah I, I know a, what you well mean. yeah of course I know but what you mean. in at least a decade right yeah and I thought this is where it ends mm. I have to admit I was I was pessimistic I was negative yeah. and I was very worried but mate we made them look like fucking Mulbarton vets. <laughs> they were a shambles. Harsh on Mulbarton vets. They were honestly, they were pathetic. It was strange, isn't it? Because I think the lead up to Derby Day. Sorry, this is this is incredibly. If you're looking for insight, this is not the part. <laughs> and can I hang on? Can I just add a caveat yeah. here at the start of the show? This is very much sponsored by Lakens. And we are filming this post match. Yes, we have to make this abundantly clear. I, before we, yeah, this could be the end of Talk Norwich City. I also saw our good friend Spud, Spud Thornhill. <gasps> what a man! What? Because what, what, he mentioned that your apparently sweary outburst has. He, he now lets his daughter swear, but only well, when it's in regard to Ipswich Town. Well, so what, I, ha, what's the context? Well, I, well, I think that's fair parenting, isn't it? <laughs> um, the the, the build-up to these games is always the worst, isn't it? Yes. And look, we were both. I thought we'd draw. I, well, I did think we'd get something. You had, did you believe we'd yeah, draw? Yeah, I though? did. I did think we'd draw. Did you? Just because of our home form. God. And I love the look of us at home. Mm. Um, and then once the game started, first five, I'm going, oh, Norwich are comfortable. But I'm going, oh, Ipswich will, Ipswich will come in a minute. They'll, they'll turn up. They're a second half team. Ipswich, they score late goals. Oh, it will happen in the next five minutes. Yeah. Oh, it will happen. And then half time comes, yep. comfortable first half, yeah. one nil up. Yeah. And then I'm going, oh, shit. Second half, going to be quick out of the traps and we're going to have to be on mm. the top of our game. Mm. 50 minutes goes. Yeah. Sam Morsey. Was he playing? <laughs> was Sam Morsey playing? <laughs> Nathan Broadhead. <laughs> <laughs> 15 years, 15 years. Norwich City. Uh, 15 years, 15 years, I say. Let, let's take it from the start. Yeah, got it. Norwich were on top for, well, <laughs> the whole game. But... It, it, there was a sequence, wasn't there, of, in about 10 minutes where we just had free kick yep. after free kick. Yep. Sarah, <sighs> Nunes, standing over it. Yeah. You know, you're going, you know, the Pope is Catholic and one of these is going in in a moment. Mate, I've not even checked the stats yet, but you know what? We were absolutely all over them like a like a red rash, weren't we? 
I mean, the amount of chances we had. Yeah. I mean, bore her. I mean, in the first half, I think it was, forgive me, Lakers is kicking into the bloodstream now, just in case you didn't realise. 20% so, off. Sargent had an absolutely unbelievable yeah. Yeah. chance um, to square it, didn't he, to yeah. bore her in the first half. Um, but no, look, we were all over them. I thought, well, oh, we keep knocking on the door. And actually, I have to admit, I, I couldn't celebrate right until the last mm. final mm. second because I just thought Ipswich are... You're never comfortable, are you? They're, no, 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 you are. You are, but not this season against Ipswich sure. because they are a mentality monster. Yeah. They are. They score lots of late goals and that's what makes this particular East Anglian derby so hilarious because this was their chance. It was. In the back of my mind, and I'm sure we'll get onto it later on in the show, I don't think this is the last time we play them this season. Ooh, I really don't. I think this is chapter two of a four chapter book. Do you? And I, <clears> and I can't stop reading it, Chris. I've picked yeah. the book up. Mm. I'm, you know, I'm halfway through the book. I want more. Yeah. I want to keep turning the pages. Yeah. yeah. David Wagner's yeah, Wagalution, what, yeah, Wagnalution, yeah, and, uh, yeah, is well and truly underway. Yeah, and I'll tell you what type of magazine it is. <laughs> Please don't. The hats. Oh right, right, uh, right. We haven't talked about this. Well, we have. Well, I know. And you said if we beat Ipswich. No, Grant Holt said that. The hats go on. We can't, can we? God, it feels we special. can't, can we? I must admit, look at the table. Just look at the table. Okay. We need a serious assessment of this. Okay. Because Grant Holt, Norwich legend, did give us permission. He said, if we beat Ipswich, yep. get your hats on, boys. Okay. So HMS pissed the playoffs. So. Right, come on. Let's have a look at the table. Mm -hmm. First place. It's not Ipswich. Well, well, obviously. It's not Ipswich. Leicester. Right, fair enough. Ipswich in second, because yep. bloody Leeds lost today. No. Uh, to Coventry. Leeds, Southampton, we're only two points behind West Brom. Well, yeah, obviously. We're going to overtake West Do you Brom. Think? Yeah. Norwich is sixth. Yep. We are four points ahead of Coventry. They have a game in hand. Mm. So we would still be ahead of them, even if they win the game in hand. Are you confident now of playoffs? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Fucking lock it in and load it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you are confident. Mate. D despite, because we haven't even talked about the Leicester game. Bring it so on. Far. Bring it on. Serve me up whoever you want in the playoffs. <laughs> Give me them. Yeah? Yeah. Semis. Would fine. you fancy Ipswich over two legs? Yeah, easily. Really? Yeah. It is interesting, isn't it? Because it is interesting. Well, don't you? Well, don't you? Well, off of the two. You look at the shit show. Off of the two games. Rocked up at Carrow today. Yeah. And you can't, you can't not take confidence from and, that. And, and actually, the, the, the pleasing thing here is it wasn't, you know, a one-off moment that's won the game. Norwich were relentless. They could have, yeah, co we could have and should have scored a few more. Yeah. You know, Sarge, yeah. I, I thought Sarge was a little off the boil today. It just looked a little mm. bit sluggish. The poor boy's playing a lot of football at the moment. I don't know. I think that's a little bit harsh. Okay. Okay. Um, Maybe it was the occasion, I don't know. I think there was a couple of opportunities where I would have liked him to pull the trigger sooner, Jack. But I, I, I still think he did well. Yeah. He did well. Um, look, it's a huge day. It's a huge occasion. Um, and he's still a young player. Yeah, yeah. So oh, no, I'm certainly not criticised. And it's the standards Good. in which he's set. Good. You know, yeah. I'm expecting yeah. him now to score in every home game. Well, hang on. Right, so hang on a minute. Are we putting the hats on? No. Not yet. Really? Not yet. You're, way, you're making me wait. I am. We we also must remember that these are HMS PTL. Yes. We need HMS <clears throat> Piss P the playoffs. Yeah, what's that? P PTP. PTP. <laughs> PTP's got a ring to yeah. it. Yeah. God, it sounds good, doesn't it? Who was your man of the match today? Super Jack Stacey Ole Ole. He was great, wasn't he? Super Jack Stacey Ole Ole. <laughs> Running down the wing. Makes the city sing. Super Jack Stacey Ole Ole. It was it was the type of performance, wasn't it, where if, if you if you mate. got you know Mate, honestly, <laughs> Roberto Carlos, okay, never played as well as Jack Stacey did today. <laughs> mate, he did. He was absolutely monumental. Yeah. Monumental, mm. but do you know what? Seriously, I can't. I can't pick bones, and I will not criticise a single one of those mm. Norwich boys today. We were on this podcast. The rallying cries happened, yeah. and we told them to fight. Yeah, we oh, told God. them we wanted desire. Yeah, we told them to bleed for the crest on the front of the shirt. We told them to make their families proud. Yeah, and they did it. Yeah, yeah. And I know, and I know, a lot of them watch this. Yeah, and so let me tell you, boys. Yeah. 
Well fucking yeah. done. You've, you, you've put yourself yeah. in the history books today. You've proved the point. Yeah. It's an iconic win. Mm. One and of by, the best. And by the way, let's talk about let's talk about a player, which by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it go to you. On, a bit. Yeah, go on then. Marcelino Nunes. Oof. Marcelino. That bloody, free kick. Bloody lovely jubbly, all right. <laughs> Christ. What a goal. Bloody Nora. What a goal. Yeah. That free kick. I mean, it's unstoppable. Well, and I tell you what, well, you said this. Well, what did you say when you watched the goal back? What was the first thing you said to me? I went, he's in a different postcode. He's in a different postcode. It was a bloody long way out. It was so far out. Yeah. It was practically in Morrison's car park. But it was strange, wasn't it? Because there had been the couple of free kicks, Sarah or Nunez, mm. and over every one, we turned around yeah. to each other. And I we locked eyes yeah. and we went, this is going yeah. in. Yeah, smells like a goal to me. This is going in. Yeah. And it did go in. I honestly love the I'm, celebration. I'm so happy for Marcelino. Me too. He's so smiley. Yeah, and good. And and you know he deserves he deserves this moment. Mm. He deserves this moment. He's got his head down. He's working hard. I think he would probably say that he's had a little bit of a frustrating season. But honestly, mate, big games, big players, big yeah. moments. Yeah, yeah. And he he is. This is exactly the reason why the likes of Brighton, etc., in the Premier League are sniffing around him. Mm. Because his talent. Who are we talking about now? Nunes. Yeah. Yeah. He's so talented. <coughs> yeah. He's so talented. And actually, away from the free kick, which which was absolutely sublime, by the way. He is a sat nav. He is the sat nav of this Norwich City side. You know, he picks up the ball. He's looking left to right, and the things that he sees, mm. I don't. I don't even see my. I can't see. <laughs> well, to be fair, we're not the best. To reference, <laughs> but in terms would, of the, but, but in, the, in the sight department. No, but seriously, mate, he, his vision is exceptional. Yeah, um, he, he is. I think Borja and Gabby are up there, but he's certainly within the top three most technically gifted Norwich players. I'm so proud of Nunes today. Mm -hmm. He deserves that moment. I'm so so happy for. You know him. what I loved as well, cool. and I love it when any of any Norwich player does this. Mm. Crest yeah, I know. punched. Yeah, a bit of a crest punch. Punch it. Well, it will Make actually... bruise your chest. Well, actually, from... Yeah, no, good. I yeah. agree. Yeah, bruise it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause yourself harm. As long as you pound the badge, <laughs> that's all that matters. Well, actually, from Nunes, we had a badge pull yeah. as well, yeah. which I'm all for. I'm all for. I, I'm going to throw a... Did you see Barnes at the end well, let, towards the scum? Let me just... Way. Let me just. Sorry, you take me in chronological order. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to throw Control in... me because I'm at least six deep. I'm going to throw in here yeah. a player... Go on. For um, not my man of the match shout, but yeah. just a good shout out. Go on. And stick this in your sort of man of the match pipe and smoke it. Go on. Ready for this? Yeah, I know what you're Liam saying. Gibbs. <laughs> Liam Gibbs. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have Whoa! Got Liam Gibbs, what? right? Comes you, on. You've criticised him a lot. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, good. He's got him going, right? Yeah. Liam Gibbs comes on. One of us. Yeah, he is one of us. He saw it, saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Got out of Suffolk. Yeah. Poor his dad probably in the away and crying. Oh Bless God, him. I hope he is. S Sir Gibbs. Big, big tackle at the end there. Oh. End of the game. Ipswich sniffing around. Gave him a chance. Yeah. Who's there? Yeah. Liam Gibbs. Yeah, of course he is. The mop. Yeah, of course he is. The flash mop. You know? Mm. You drop some you drop some liquid. Yeah. And he's mopping it up. He's there. And do you know what I'm saying? So God, that, God, that got me going. Yeah, good. One. God. Yeah. Liam Gibbs. Mate, I love a big tackle. For me, Liam Gibbs can do what he wants now. <laughs> <laughs> Keys to City. <laughs> Liam Gibbs is one of us. One of us. One of us. Liam Gibbs is one of us. He hates it, Switch. Oh, I just, I just looked at Liam Gibbs and I went, right, oh, you me. hate these. I'm going to say something. Right? Oh, God. Let me fucking say yeah. something. <laughs> This is just ping pong. Do you know what? <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I've seen some away support at Carrow Road over the years. Rotherham. Right. Rotherham. Mm. They were truly woeful. <laughs> but there was a packet of five or six lads that gave it large. Mm. And I respect that. Mm. Ipswich today. Awful. Mm. Absolutely awful. They should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> They should be. They should be, mate. They're in the top two. Yeah. You could hear a pin drop. It in was the strange. It, it, they were so scared. It was strange, and no, on, it wasn't strange. It's exactly what they are. But on the pitch, you know, as I was saying earlier, you're expecting them. They've been mm. so good attacking mate, this season. I, look, uh, and you're going the w the wave will start in a moment. Yeah. And it never happened. Yeah. There was never a wave. It never happened. I was. You've on, gone surfing. Yeah. And you've gone surfing on a mill pond. 
<laughs> yeah, you're looking for the wave. You go, oh, the, the, the Morsey wave might come in a moment. And you've gone, oh, fuck, I've come down the village pond by accident. <laughs> oh, Morsey, oh, Morsey. <laughs> Awful. Second half. Yeah, go on. <laughs> a couple of good chances. Seriously, I, let me be honest now. Yeah. I was still very concerned. Even we at 1-0? Yeah, because, we go, yeah, because, Jack, the performance at Leicester, the way that we approached the game... Yeah, it was passive, wasn't I it? I was just so concerned that we would park the Wagner wagon. Mm. But honestly, fair play to the boys. And, and do you know what? We need to really heap praise on the Norwich City back line yeah. today. Yeah? yeah? Sam McCallum. Mm. Let's start with him. Mm. Yeah, great. <laughs> Just, yeah, <laughs> you keep talking, I'll keep grunting. He's he's come under a lot of criticism, mm. <laughs> and and yeah, fair play to him, yeah, right? Good. And then the two centre back lads, yeah, Shane Duffy, yeah, yeah. He, he must fair play to him because I've criticised him. Yeah, he's come in. He's not had many minutes of late. He looked absolutely monumental. He looked like an absolute colossus. Well, I was actually on... And Ben Gibson. Yeah. I was close to phoning Norfolk Constabulary to report a crime. Yeah. Why? Why? Well, Why? there was a missing person, Chris. <laughs> there was a missing person. I still don't think they found him. Goes by the name of Kiefer Moore. <laughs> I, mean, I was looking at the coppers and going, <laughs> look, this is urgent. Right? <laughs> Apparently he's meant to be their number nine. Or whatever he is. <laughs> and Duffy... It's, it's sent him shopping. <laughs> Shane Duffy is magic. He was brilliant today. He wears a magic hat. <laughs> and if you throw a brick at him, he'll head the fucker back. He'll head it to the left side. He'll head it to the right. And when we win the playoffs at Wembley, <laughs> we'll sing this song all night. I must Ooh. say, we were, in the, we were in the pub pre-match. Hang on, let me finish the back line and then you can resume. Sure. Ben Gibson. Yeah. Absolute rock. Yeah. Expect nothing less. And Jack Stacey, I mean, we've already we've already said. I mean, look, Jack Stacey. Well, it's the, it's the type of performance, Chris. Where if you, if, you, if you come home and he's in bed with your missus, yeah, you tuck him in, yeah, and you stick the highlights on, yeah, yeah. You and say, you go enjoy. You say enjoy, yeah. Yeah. We were in the pub this morning, and mm. the, the the team lineup come out, and I say Duffy and Gibson. Oh yeah, that gets me going. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You were shitting it. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but. Then I was like, well, we need to check the Ipswich team. Because if El, um, Al Hamadi was playing, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have fancied our chances as much. And then I see Kiefer Moore on the starting 11. I'm yeah. going, oh, that's a win. Yeah. And that's a win. Yeah. You think you're going to fucking even lay a finger on <laughs> Shane Duffy and Ben Gibson? He had a few um, chest pumps at the end. Yeah, good. Duffy? Yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. And you're good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. Stick it right into them. Superb. Kenny McLean, excellent. <laughs> right, Kenny Esther. Let me talk about Kenny Esther. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me, I need to just quickly check a message. I need to be very careful. Is this all? No, this, no, no. I just need you're to You're not be, just look, texting. No, 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 no. It's, it's Kenny, but I just need to be very careful. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'll say one thing. Kenny, Kenny said the place today was rocking. Ooh, it was rocking. Yeah, and we'll talk about the atmosphere in a minute. Yeah. But Kenny McLean. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he's Mate, exactly, uh, he's, he is the pumping heart of this team. There is no one I want to have a drink with. A Lakens more. 20% off in the description <laughs> than Kenny McLean. Yeah. What a man. Yeah. What a man. Mm. Passion, mm. passing. Fight tackles, mm. Scottish. <laughs> I um I, I had a bite to eat this morning. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Here's to being the pride of Angler. Fifteen I, years. I had a, a lovely bite to eat this morning at the Unthanked Kitchen. Oh, shout out! And uh, Dunny, the it's such a fucking good bloke that owns it, right? <laughs> yeah, don't even start me. I was in there, and he said, "Jack, I'm gonna get you a boar banger." All right, and I just thought you had a boar banger, did you? Banger. And I just looked at him and I went. <clears throat> <laughs> Big performance from Borja today. By the way, Borja. Yeah. Oh, well, this was my slightly Sorry, round, yeah. roundabout good. way of going. How fucking good was Borja? Yeah, no, it was good. What about that moment where I thought he'd scored? Not only the goal of the season, the goal of a lifetime. Oh my god! Over yes. the shoulder. Yes. Takes it like With on his, his back. Whoa, pause. Something. Let's just let's just say he headed it up. Yeah. And then he's tried to lob the keeper on the volley. So audacious. If that goes in. You've completed football. Just, well, yeah. Just just give up. Yeah. He's not getting You're any done. better than that. Yeah. It was majestic. 
Borja Science is 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 the player when you're in a derby that you love because he's yeah. nippy, he's snappy. Well, I just love him in general. Yeah, he's so buzzy. That's the word, buzzy. Mm. And the the great thing was because McCallum and um, and Starboy Stacy, right, were flying down the wings. Mm. It does leave you a little bit open. Mm. And then Hutchinson picks up the ball. He's meant to be half decent. <laughs> Didn't turn up today. And I'm going, oh god, Hutchinson's got it. He's through on goal. Borja Science out of nowhere. Yeah. Brilliant. Little terrier. I say brilliant. Little Spanish terrier. Gabby Sarah. Yeah, Gabby. Gabby's Gabby, isn't he? <laughs> in, he a, is in a positive sense. Gabby is Gabby. Yeah. He is Gabby. Gabriel Sarah. Mm. We sign him from Brazil. Build the team around him next season. Give him a fucking fifteen-year contract. <laughs> yeah. Name a stand after him. The Gabriel Sarah community stand. The Gabriel Sarah stand. <laughs> the Sarah stand. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Why not? Ashley Barnes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, he is he is the type of player you want in a derby. Yeah, good. And and do you know what the highlight for me was? Nothing. By the way, the highlight for me was nothing. By the way, big. By the way, big up Barnsley. I know. Here's the Barnsley. I know know he's a watcher. Here's the Barnsley. Um, I tell you what, I'll say to you, Barnsley. No offense, mate. My highlight of the game for you was nothing to do with what you did (laughs) during the ninety minutes. It was the crying towards the Ipswich fans afterwards. Yeah. Magnifique. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Sargent, we've already spoken oh, about. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's Josh Sargent, isn't he? David Wagner. Yeah. I mean, Wagner, he's getting his blooming yeah. wand out. Yeah, good. And I hope so too. On Wembley Way. Could we? I, again, we as, I, we? as I feel like I have to do on. As I ha- blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Lakin's in the bloodstream now. As I have done for multiple podcasts now on the heroic home run, mm. Carrow's now fortress. David Wagner deserves a lot of credit. He deserves a lot of credit. And actually, not just because of what he's managed to do, but the way he's held himself. Mm. I have got so much respect for him. Yeah? And people might find that slightly jarring because back in, I think it what was it, October maybe? I was like, 19. I think I think we need to make a change. Mm. But honestly, David Wagner deserves so much credit. He really does. The way he's held himself, his professionalism. And do you know what we saw today, Jack? A team mm. that played not just for themselves, not just for the pride of Angela Mantle, but for David Wagner. Mm. Final um chap we'll talk about and, and, and review the performance of before we get on to the Twitter questions. Go on. Give it to me. Pete the Kit Man. <laughs> right. For anyone that is thinking, Pete the Kit Man? <laughs> what? Go on to the Talk Not City social oh, media epic. page. So basically, right, Pete the Kit Man, right? What a guy. Him and also John Boy as well. Um, they are the unsung heroes of this Norwich City side, yeah. okay? And after the full-time whistle, of course, the lads line up. They do their ole, ole, ole to the, to the lower Barclay, etc. And um, Ben Gibson rips his shirt off. Well, no, did you see what and happened his before shorts. that? Yeah. And his shorts. The shorts yeah. were gone. And good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But, but what I loved was... Pete... It would have been... Imagine how good it would have been if his shorts had gone off as well. <laughs> but anyway, basically, Pete Dye, the kit man, um, was topless yeah. and good. Perfect, yeah. perfect way to celebrate. Mm. And it sums up the togetherness and spirit of this Norris mm. City side. And I think that was the biggest turn on of the day for me. <laughs> Pete Dye without his kit on. My, my, one of my favourite moments. Where's your beer bottle? Though? Dash down here. One of my hey, favourite moments. Finish up because you need your second. One of my favourite moments was I was, I, I, the game had finished. Yep. We'd, we'd sent the, the, our lovely friends back down the road, yep. waved them off yep. in, in a very friendly fashion. Had a had a actually a pint of water in the um, Lining Castle. Wow! Okay. Um, well, and then thought I'm gonna I'm gonna have a walk around the ground. I just want to soak it up. All right? Did you? Did you actually? You've I not had, told me. I had this. A walk around the ground. No, did I haven't told actually? you. This. Yeah, yeah. And I just would you know clear the head, soak it in. Yeah. Go past, and I'm seeing a bit of a, a commotion with the police and the police motorbikes yeah. near the coach, the, the director's entrance. Right. I'm thinking, oh, that might be the Ipswich coach. Anyway. The, uh, the the police are all there. You've not told me this, by the way. No, it's probably a, it's a shit story, really. Oh, okay. The um all the so the Norwich fans are piling in to the coach. Please, don't brilliant. Pete the kid, man. No, no. And uh, the police cycle off on their motorbikes. Coaches follow off. A couple of Ipswich officials on the coach get incredibly aggy. Yeah. And I won't name him. Cool. But quite a high up steward 
at the football club, <clears throat> just turned around to me, winked, and went. <laughs> and I just thought, epic. Do you know, these are the days, you've got to enjoy them, haven't you? Mm. I was arm in arm with my brother-in-law in the Barclay today, oh. giving it to the Ipswich fans. Mm. And I've felt some good feelings in my life, but that was up there with one of the very best. <laughs> Hello, Craig. <laughs> Twitter questions. Let's do it. There is nothing that brings me more joy in life yep. than celebrating with and, all of you. And drinking Lakens. On Twitter. Mm. Jack Wright, friend of the channel, Jack. Good. Nothing to say that can add to the justified euphoria. Jonathan Rowe said it best in his Sky Football interview. Norwich City are simply the bigger and better team. Did Johnny Rowe say that? Apparently so. Most importantly... Go on. Where are we meeting for Team TNC Wembley beers? Oh, hello. Do you know what? Hello, Jack. You know what, righty? I've not thought about this. Well, you better start thinking. But we need to think about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, we need a serious sit down. TNC Wembley Beveraginos. TNC Where Wembley Wagner's Wand yeah. Wallops. Yeah, Jack, I'm up for it. We'll think about it. Um, what about this from old Spud? Oh, Spud. <clears throat> David Spud Thornhill. <laughs> God, he gets me going. What a man, by the way. Seriously, what a man. Everyone loves Spud. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Spud is a legend. Anyway, he says, this is, this, is what, this is what supporting a club is all about. From a selfish point of view, I think I might have clinched the deal with my daughter, Amelia. Following yesterday, Chris Reeves' outburst, she knows it's okay to swear at Ipswich. What today, was the outburst? Today, she witnessed her first slap the scum. Whatever happens, thank you, Chris. Thank you, NCFC. And you can't see this picture. In fact, hang on, let me, hang on, let me be careful. Look, you might not... Hang on, I don't know if that's zooming in. But anyway, basically, it's an iconic picture. Mm. Spud and his daughter. Excellent. These are the memories yeah, that yeah. last a lifetime, aren't they, Jack? Yeah. And like, for, for, for Spud's daughter, who's grown up incredibly quickly, mm. not in her lifetime has she seen Ipswich beat Norwich. There are people this oh, yeah. year I know. doing their GCSEs. Yeah. There are 15-year-olds that would not have seen Wild. Norwich lose Ipswich. Go on. Um, FPL Oakley. What's what a he good question. He says, um, excuse me, lads, I have a question. Go on. Can you just remind me how many years? 15 years, 15 <laughs> years, Norwich City. 15 years, 15 <laughs> years, I say, sing up. 15 years, 15 years, Norwich City. Oh, sing up, playing football, football the Norwich, Norwich way. way. Right, Zeki, I love my football club. I love Zeki. Um, what about this from old Chrissy Dayton, Chrissy D, friend of the channel, friend of us actually. Um, he says, statement, the pride of Anglia bleeds yellow and fucking green. How's the hangover, Jack? Oh God, I was in a bad way yeah. this morning. You went out the night before Yeah, night. you know what? I just got, I, I got to the stage last night where the nerves were that bad. Mm. I just had to go down the pub and talk it out. And Did you? And beers and really? it got slightly out of hand. Well, there was nothing but to be nervous about. But went, went and had a, a Borja banger this morning. Mm. Felt a million dollars. Good. Genuinely life-saving. Yeah. And that is what Borja bangers do. Harry Brister. Go on. The best looking oh. boy in the Barclay. Speaking of friends of the channel. Ugh. More than a friend. God, he gets me. Um, I thought them lot were meant to be the best goal scoring team in the league. Oh, well. That's the thing, isn't it? That's the, the baffling situation of today. Meant to be great, great going forwards. I thought there was going to be goals. You know, I didn't think either team would keep a clean sheet. Mm. I'm really sorry, actually, for, for, for not having full faith in, in Duffy, Gibson, and co. Um, but I just I looked at that Ipswich team and I went, you're so incredibly boring. There was absolutely nothing special about Boring. That. There was nothing... Boring. Mm. Yeah. If I was an Ipswich fan today, I wouldn't have gone. I would have stayed at home. We almost mentioned it earlier. Let's mention it now. And this comes... There's a question from Yuli. Yuli79. Unfortunately, not Yuli69. He says, question... Why can't we bring that atmosphere every week? The atmosphere today. Oh, it was just brilliant. The atmosphere today. It was, was just brilliant. It was defiant. Yeah. You couldn't, the, the, you couldn't hear a peep the, out of the blue the, and white boys. The, the, my favourite moments, you know, if you look across the years, it, it comes in the games. Cheers, boy. 15 years. It, it comes in the moments where 
you almost, you can tell that the players need a lift. Mm. And there are a couple of big tackles. We, we spoke about my man Liam Gibbs earlier on. Yeah. Big tackles, big moments. Yes. You know, goals and, 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 and all of that stuff is what is what you normally celebrate. But I love the the, the the defiant yeah, chance after yeah. a meaty challenge today. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I loved that. Yes. I really loved that. And I thought, look, I thought the atmosphere was great. And the chant, Fair play. And the chant today was since I was young. Yeah. Oh. Like, that was so loud. Yeah, rip-roaring. Good. Yeah, rip. Put them right on the back foot. Uh, Jack Field says, the, lo- the horriblest... Horriblest? Is that a word? It'll do. I don't care. It can be a word for today. The horriblest, loveliest victory I think I've ever experienced. Mm. A true thing of beauty. Mm. We are in for an exciting end to the season. Yeah. Keep up your great work, Jack and Chris. Love the content. Well, Jack, we love you too. So much. What about this from Joseph? Statement. (laughs) Statement. I know what you're doing here, Joseph, you naughty boy. Joseph says, statement, Nunes makes me erupt. <laughs> erupt? Erupt. <laughs> that is all. Like a, like a dormant volcano. Think of that what you will. Waiting to explode. Think of that what you will. Um, good. Fin- it is one from Finlay. Yeah, go on. What's he saying? Gibson performance, underrated. Just straight in there. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Let's overrate it now. Yeah. Let's just go all in. Yeah. Ben Gibson, what a bloke, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. Has had a really, really, really tough time off the pitch this season. Yeah. I love Ben Gibson. And deserves so much fucking credit. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of criticism that man has received. He's a good player. And yet he keeps going. He's a good player. Yeah. And today, he was an absolute rock. Here's one that. from, from um, one of our more intelligent viewers, Stuart Sayer. Oh, hello, Stuart. When I, when I look at Stuart... I had a lovely... I hang on, hang on. On Stuart, I had a hug with him post-match. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was walking out... in the box, And we though? just... All we did, we just embraced. Yeah. Yeah. Big bear hug. Oh, lovely. He says, um, statement. But he didn't, he didn't write statement. He just put S. I assume that means statement. I know. Ipswich Town's lack of conviction on the pitch and in the stands appeared to be a case of self-fulfilling prophecy, a serious lack of belief in themselves. Yeah. Such was the home support. Yeah. We rarely heard the refs yeah. whistle in the yeah. Upper Barclay. Yeah. Best atmosphere at Norwich City for ages. I loved as well, another yeah. underrated atmosphere moment, cool. when, the, when that full-time whistle went. Yes. God, a, a eruption. Yeah. I mean, talk about erupting. Yeah. That was an eruption. Yeah, it was. And it was relief. Let's, let's be honest. It was relief. It was mostly it relief. It was relief, yes. Um, Kieran says, Jesus Christ, how are you two going to do this? Well, I we're think, not very well, are we? Let's be honest. I mean, we're, we're not. We're, we're kind of... Yeah, we're both on the beers. So, yeah, enjoy that. Um, Lucy Cross. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy says, HMS pissed the playoffs. Ready to set sail? Well, that links actually really nicely into this one right, from go on. Ashley. Go on. I just love Ashley's name. Ashley Bootle. Brilliant. Statement. Whoa, hold up. Second name of the podcast. Yeah. Bootle. (laughs) I think it's Bootle. Statement. Go on. Bold statement. Go on. I think we will play Ipswich again this season, but only once. It's going to be at Wembley. We will finish fifth and beat them. (laughs) Do you know, a Wembley, oh my God, imagine playing at Wembley. Well, look, my heart won't be able to take it. Mm. I will be really struggling. Mm. I will at that day. I will be absolutely battered on the old Lakens. Yeah, but, you know, at least fucking fifteen cans of Lakens <laughs> deep before kickoff. I mean, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Yeah, we certainly and, don't. And by the way, why? We would, well, and by we the way, and by the way, why wouldn't you? With twenty percent off we, in the description, <laughs> we don't advise binge drinking. No, we don't. But however, you um, take the edge off things. Yes, because a, a Wembley East Anglian derby. I mean, I, I I don't know if you can tell. My face is so red today. Yeah. And it's so hot. Yeah. My face yeah. is the hottest thing on the planet. Yeah. I can't work out if it's sunburn. I tell you why. Or my blood pressure. No, I tell you why. Sky high. I tell you why. Because you've been aroused <laughs> by Marcelino Nunes. <laughs> well, that is from Norfolk and Yellow. Everyone put a shift in. Shout out to our ball boy in the bark. Yeah. The ball boy Great in the bark. Point. Who Great ignored point. their centre back mm. when he was screaming for the ball. Norfolk and Yellow. Great shout. Great point. Yeah. I, I can't remember his name. What happened, Jack? The centre back. Go on. Well, the ball boy was meant to do his job and give the ball back, and actually he's seen the Ipswich player and gone, nah, you're all right. Yeah. A bit naughty from the Ipswich centre back. Yeah. Getting stuck into the ball boy. The guy's like 10 years old. No surprise. He comes on your own side. No surprise. 
To be fair, the ball boy was probably taller than Chaplin. Um, it wasn't biblical, was it? No. Um, let's have a uh, let's have a, another one actually yeah, um, on. from Finley. Who says, uh, does McKenna want some chips for his saltiness? Yeah. I was mean, he salty? I've not listened to I've not listened to any of the post match stuff. I, I mean, it's, I mean it's, it's a predictable post match. Was it in a derby? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to spend any time wasted talking about Kieran McKenna. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Statement, um, Ollie. East Anglia is yellow and fucking green. Mm. I love that from you, Ollie. Yeah. Jay. Oh, God, look at Jay. What What's legend. Jay saying? What a legend. <laughs> what a legend. Oh, oh, Jay. Oh. What Jay, a legend. Oh. Uh, Jay just says, I absolutely love Ashley Barnes's passion. Yeah, we all do. We all do. Ashley Barnes's passion <laughs> is what I pay my season ticket money for. Um, Daryl says, 15 years. End of question statement. Rave, laugh, <laughs> AIP switch. There you go. 15 years. It right. is such a long while. Were you? Did you? Have you actually seen? Have you seen us lose in person? Place? No, not in not in the ground. Wow! But when what? Two thousand nine, wasn't it? So I, I have, yeah, I didn't have a season ticket in two thousand nine. I think it was back in the days of Danny Haynes. Mm. I, how have they been that shit for fifteen years? Well, this is the thing. Se- seriously, fifteen years is a long time, Jack. It's a very long time. In fifteen years, I'll be, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Self combustion over not receiving Yeah, football probably. Club. Go on. Richards is 15 years. Come on. This is, oh, God, this is a good one. Go Robin. on. Robin. Give, it. Give it to Have me. Have you ever met a bad bloke called Robin? Give I'm it Robin. to me. Robin says, statement. Go on. A Norwich City cult hero has been born today. Mm. Marcelino Nunes. <laughs> are, we, are, we talking cult, are we talking cult hero status now? I guess if you score in a derby, then yeah. Well, we all love Marcelino anyway, don't we? Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. I mean, look. He's magic. You know. <laughs> Marcelino. He's magic. <laughs> you know. Um, David. Oh, yeah. this is interesting. What's David saying? Uh, from a neutral. Big David. Rotherham fan. Go on. Um, Rotherham? What the fuck are they doing here? Well, welcome them in, Chris. All right, sorry. Hello, Rotherham. That's, that was a bit nasty. So, all right, I'm sorry. We like Rotherham. <laughs> From a neutral, Go on. Norwich fully deserved that win. Well, yeah, Congratulations. So, so, yeah, yeah. Question. Ipswich in the playoff semis or Ipswich in the playoff final? Either would be tasty. Yeah. P.S. Yeah. Angus deserves a double Nando's for yeah. a Derby Day clean sheet. Well, look, he, I mean, he's, he's getting a whole chicken yeah, isn't he, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've messaged him. Um, and and I and I haven't messaged him this yet, but I will say to him that it's it's going to be upgraded. Yeah, that should bite there absolutely. Yeah. Should. And it's being. I mean, Nando's no more. Nando. By the way, the <laughs> Nando's bet was when uh, he was on loan mm. back then mm. when he was a young man, mm. and now he's the best keeper in the championship. Mm. I mean. <sighs> Roger Hickman's restaurant in Norwich. Yeah, <laughs> not a sponsor yet. One of the most expensive. Yeah. Angus, I'll take you there. <laughs> uh, good, good question, this from um, from Jack. Go on. But it's not a question for us. It's right. a question for Marcelino Nunez. What? what? And Jack asks Marcelino, where do you want your statue built? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I tell you. But I tell you one thing. Go on, tell yeah. me. Yeah. Wherever the statue's built, mm. it will be a bit chilly. Oh, very bad. Very bad. Mate, Nunez, what a boy. Yeah. Right, keep going because I've lost the questions. Uh, the Bangkok Canary asks, um, if Jack Stacey was a dog, what breed would he be? Um, today, what's the most... I'll tell you what it would be today. An XL bully. <laughs> <laughs> Super Jack Stacey, ole, ole. Super Jack Stacey, ole, ole. Riding down the wing, makes the city sing. Super Jack Stacey, <laughs> ole, ole. And then what? Because he's mm. sort of aggressive and mm. powerful mm. and just runs through anything. Just gives me what I want. <laughs> what, I would, what dog would he be for you? Greyhound. Like, no, like no. a prime. No, like, no, 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 no. Let, hear me out. Not a retired Greyhound, <laughs> right? This Greyhound, you know, Skurlog Champ type Greyhound. 
best greyhound ever. Yeah. Oh, Breaks from the traps. Yeah, quick. Oh, just so quick. Yeah, stamina. Just keeps yeah. going. Yeah, just goes and goes and goes. You when you look at greyhound, yeah. you're going, how is this much yeah. just go energy and goes coming out of this thing? And goes. And every time I watch Jack Stacey, and we have such a great view of him from where we sit. God, we do. I look at him and I go, brilliant. Super Jack, stay see you ole ole. Super Jack, stay see you ole ole. Charlie, Charlie's got a rant. Go on, a rant. Yeah, a rant. on a day like today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's he saying? How on earth mm. have those lot ended up in an automatic spot race, bang average, and bottled it? The only thing more absurd is McKenna saying they managed to quieten down the fans. Who said that? Charlie. He knows Charlie. the aim is to do that to the opposition fans. Not your own, right? Yeah. Charlie, that is the contribution of the podcast. Yeah, rant of the week. Yeah, good. I'm mm. so pleased that you stuck that in our in our replies. Pied. This could be contribution of the week. Go on. And we welcome back an old friend. Oh, don't tell me it's Willem Watson. No. Don't tell me it's... Uh... <laughs> I'll tell you who it is. Go on, who? Norfolk Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And Norfolk Paul... Oh, yes! Go uh, on, Norfolk! And Norfolk Paul has been finding out what the name Marcelino means. Of course he has. What does he say? Marcelino... Yeah, go on. ...is a courageous, handsome warrior. Also, a good-looking man. He's bound to get any girl he wants most of the time, and ladies will come to him. <laughs> As in, <laughs> approach him. Don't explain it. <laughs> Keep going. Um... And Norfolk Paul says... I think we're going to be cancelled. No. Norfolk Paul says, yep. frankly, I'll drive my wife to his house after today. Get in there, boys. Nunes! <laughs> Nunes! 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 I fucking love Nunes. Here's one to get you even more excited. Oh, keep, just give, keep, this keep, comes in from Harry. Keep giving it to me. Rave. Like we kept, kept giving it to him Rave. yesterday. Rave. Eight wins in a row. Yeah, of course. And Johnny Rose still not back. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Sp <laughs> sprinkle a little Johnny Rowe in there. Oh, imagine that. Mate. Oof. Imagine Johnny Rowe at Wembley. My face is getting hotter just thinking about it. <sighs> Leo, had Sargent stayed fit this season, we would be in the automatics. Oh, fucking love Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ipshit today. Deserved the win. Yeah, obviously. Of course we did. Yeah, of course we did. What was the question, sorry? What was the point? There is no point. Oh. Just that if Sergeant was fit, would be, you know, top two. Yeah, obviously, yeah. It was Jack Stacey's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jack. Super Jack Stacey, <laughs> ole, ole. Super Jack Stacey, ole, ole. John. Running down the wing. Rave. Makes a titty sing. I deeply fear. Super Jack Stacey, ole, ole. John. Oh, listen to... Oh. <laughs> What's old Johnny say? No, 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 no. Before I get onto it, Go on. let me tell you his name. <laughs> Go on. John Isherwood oh. Moat. Double barrel. Double barrel. Yeah, stick that in your double yeah. barrel name. DBJ. D I M. No, no, no. Uh, double barrel John. <laughs> Super Jack CC, all here. Shut up. I deeply fear many will miss the Roberto Carlos esque curvature on that free kick from Nunes. It fainted left, swiveled to the middle, and bounced the right before going in. B E A U T I F E F E F U L. Beautiful. It did move a lot, thank you. It did move a hell of a lot. It, it, it yeah, it was brilliant, wasn't it? I have seen a lot of free kicks in my time. <laughs> But that free kick. Yeah. My word. Yeah. My word. <laughs> it's great fun, isn't it? I mean, you know, they, they, these are the days. You compete with that class. You, these are the days that we do it for. How long have we been doing this bloody podcast? Yeah. And we have sat here, usually on a Monday morning. Miserable and, as And fuck. chatted through some yeah. absolute turgid football. Like, yeah. and I'm And I'm going to, uh, so, uh, like, sometimes we've finished and we've yeah. gone... How many times have I messaged you saying, Jack, I don't, do want to, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you some more. I'll tell you something. Mm. Yeah? Mm. These are the days we do it for. Mm. These mm. are the days. Mm. Oh, certainly are. One more question. Go on. It comes in from... Um, Is the question, when will they ever beat us? 
Well, Radio Suffer got famously asked that quite a long yeah, time ago. Of course and the true. answer is still not yet. Um, <sighs> can I just, can, just a quick interjection? Oh, hey, no, no, I'm going to finish on this one. Uh, no, just a quick interjection. Okay. I'm not sure I said that right. Interjection. Interjection. This Lakens is so cold. Yeah, it's great. It's so crisp mm. and it tastes delicious. 20% off in the description. Final question. Yes. It's not a question, it's a statement. Yeah. Coming in from our dear friend, Run Cycle Cake. All right? Go on, give it to me. Normally. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Oh God, it's so good. Okay, go on. Oh, hello. Normally, I say keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> Don't get too high, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Fuck that. Drink this in. Yeah. Just springboard to fifth, and we will keep the hoodoo alive at Wembley on the 26th of May. Kick it off! <laughs> Throw it in! Ah, man, it's so scrimmage! I'm going to call it a day there on the question. Keep it low, splendid rush! Bravo! Win or... Die. On the ball, silly! How are you... Feeling? Are we just finishing each other's sentences? How am I feeling? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. For free. I'm out tonight. <laughs> When this podcast is published, I will be hungover. Let me tell you that for sure. And I'll tell you why. Hang on, you ready? Hmm? 15 years. 15 years. I, um, I've incredibly got to play golf with Grant Holt on, um, mm-hmm. on Thursday. And I said to Holt, I said, oh, what are your plans on Derby Day? And he and said, he's like, work, up, watch us win. Working, watch us win. I said, are you going out afterwards? And he said, Jack, let me just tell you something. All right? What are you saying, Jack? You, hang on, should you be saying this? Yeah, yeah. If we win, yeah. I'm out. Holty's out. Is he? Yeah, he's out. Well, I'll give him a call. He'll be out. I'll give him a call now. And I just, not right now. I'll call him now. No. Why not? No. But <laughs> I just think, if you're Holty, Holty, God, he's good, isn't he? Love Holty. I fucking love him. How are you feeling now? Not right now. He's so For good. the rest of the season. I feel so good right now. <laughs> 15 years. <laughs> Rest of the season. I don't care about Big it. week coming up. Do you know up. what? Do you know Big what? week coming up. Do you know up. what? No, no. no let's for twi- once in my on. life. For once. No, no, no. You switch off. <laughs> let's just enjoy mm. and appreciate this feeling. Let's feel this feeling. Yeah. Victory. Yeah. V for victory. Sure. W. Another win. Three points. Comfortable three points. What was your... We'll finish here. What was your, what was your favourite moment of the day? I think my favourite moment of the day, I think it's got to go to Pete Dye, the kit man, mm. topless up at post match. Iconic. Mm. Can I also just say, I really sincerely hope that um, we don't lose subscribers from this. No, I don't think. We well, probably will. Because I'm quite far down the river here. Yeah, no, that's okay. But do you know what? Good. You've got to enjoy these moments. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, Preston and Sheffield Wednesday next week. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who'd you say? Preston Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Come on, it. Preston and Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> Let's get into them. Your rallying cry worked. Yeah. I was dubious about that, yeah. but it did work. Yeah, it did. Have you got one for Preston? I don't need one for Preston. <laughs> no, just fucking get into them. Get into them. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Yes, it has. Um, just think, if we go another 15 years... Of winning, we are going to be so old, yeah, and you'll be dead as you I said. I will earlier. be dead. Yeah, I think uh, you've got permission. Yeah, go on. If in fifteen years we're still winning, we're not still doing this podcast. Roll me out. How long? Roll me you... out of the visit on, on, the, on, the, on the old wheelchair. Can I actually make a serious point? Mm. How long are we doing this podcast for? Until we lose to Ipswich, <laughs> and then we might consider giving forever. <laughs> uh, look, thank you very much uh, for for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed what was a brilliant, brilliant Saturday early kickoff at Carrow Road. I certainly did. I'm going for a, for, a, for a cold bath in a darkened room. 15 years, 15 years. Norris. Thanks for watching, everyone. 15 Bye-bye. years, 15 years.